You think this Halloween stuff is scary? I'll show you something absolutely frightening. Just look at the state of my house. If you're new to our channel, we're in the middle of an epic bathroom renovation. I'm wondering if Lincoln is trying to send me some sort of message. There's an axe coming through the ceiling. Okay. I'm gonna leave you to it. I'm get, I'm gonna get out of here. Okay. Just don't fall down the I'll try hole, please. So I'm currently looking at the hallway downstairs from my bathroom. Welcome to the most dangerous bathroom in the world, I think. <laughs> right? Watch your step. We determined that some of the beams need to be replaced in, in the floor. Had to take down the ceiling also because the ceiling's attached to the beams. You can see here, this thick beam is a major beam that goes from that wall, see the far wall, all the way to this wall, which is the chimney wall. This wall. Yeah, right. This is a chimney wall. See how thick it is? And then this beam here, coming sideways here, is in the wall on that end. And then it goes into this major beam and you can see the pegs holding them together. These are the old pegs. Two wow, pegs, look at yeah. that, huh? So this beam is in good shape. This other beam, well, that, that beam, runs into that, that's this, in good shape. This beam here, yeah. And these five beams are all in good shape at this end. Right. But it's the other end that's a mess. This was a bathroom for over a hundred years. Water leaking for many, yeah. many years. Well, I was hoping that with the beams, I'd be able to get new pieces of wood to put beside them and bolt them together, because that's generally what you do when you've got weak beams but these are so close together that there's no room to get a drill and a bit and a bolt through. Mm -hmm. So even if we you know, took out every other beam and made room, they're still not in the greatest shape anyway. So it's just, it just makes more sense to replace them. I mean, these beams, the, all they do is hold up this bathroom's floor. They don't do anything else. So having new beams just makes sense since we've gone to the trouble of, well, not we, you, you've gone to the <laughs> trouble of um, uncovering all this. So the beams we're replacing, you can see at this end, it's a joint where they go into a hole in mm -hmm. this beam. So it's right, right here, you mean? Right. There, it was cut. Mm -hmm. There's a hole in the beam going sideways and there's a tendon maybe, a yeah. joint where that goes into it. And then they go into the wall on the other end. So the way we're going to do it is get the new beams, put them in the wall, and then instead of doing that kind of joint, just put the hangers, which is yeah. a more modern thing, and they're, they're strong. No, you got to go downstairs, Miss Waffle Pants. Oh. <laughs> so I'm sorry I interrupted you. No, that's it, basically. You can see the, the walls of the former bathroom, but we can't take that down because... They're probably supporting these end beams that were cut off, yeah. those three end beams, so... But once the once this is rebuilt, we can knock that down. We can take down. those down. So what I find really interesting about these beams is that, you know, they go into the wall, you know, it's probably about a foot or so, and then this other end is going into that other beam. The only, They're too long to have just put in place, so they 
had to have put these in as they were building the house and these outside walls, those holes were actually open on top. Mm -hmm. So they, they just slid they them slid in. They slid them in and then they built the wall on top. So it's because there's no way you can, no. it's too long. You can't fit it. So I think that's really cool. That yeah, it is. It was done it as is. they were building the house. We're getting beams and wood on Monday. Right. Oh, oh my God. That one's a little thin. Yeah, that's I'm about to fall through the floor. <laughs> That's all I need, right? But you do have help. You're not doing this yes. on your own. You have one guy very helpful. Helping and, and advising too. Knowledgeable. So. We're erring on the side of caution. So we know it's done and done and it'll never be an issue again. Yeah. If you haven't seen our most recent vlog, you missed our cat Waffle, who somehow made it into almost every shot. I propose a drinking game. Every time Waffle appears on camera, take a sip of your favorite beverage. So here we are downstairs in the hallway and you've taken the ceiling down quite nicely. I got it all down. The only thing that's left, the hot water pipe goes up and around on the ceiling there, which needs to be relocated. We also have to remove that, the drain pipe. The one above, directly above the window. The thicker one, yeah. Yeah. Which will come out more easily when this wall is gone. Like we yeah. had mentioned before, this, this wall will be gone. Well, we have to remove this railing. In order to be able to do the work upstairs, we're going to need access under here, and that's just too awkward. We're, we're removing this anyway, since we're going to create a trap door to access the right. basement. So this will be gone, so we'll have more of a living space here. Right now, this is how we access the window, is through this tiny... <laughs> it makes it really hard to clean the windows. Are yeah. the windows even clean? I can't tell. Uh, not, 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 not really, so now. Waffle always has to be in the video. I, I don't, are you just a natural ham? What's going on, Waffle? You, you start a project, it turns into something else and snowballs. Yeah. So we have this cabinet directly behind you. I want relocated to the kitchen. They were built in place. So if we dismantle it, turn it around and put it behind that one, and then the rest of this wall and door is going to be gone. None of these walls are load bearing mm -hmm. here because you know, this area is the same as the grand salon on the other end of the house and that the whole thing's open. Yeah. So, I mean, there's, this is just there. This wall is just for having a wall. It doesn't need to be there. After the bathroom is done, uh, we'll address this because I don't want to have to put up an entirely new ceiling and then rip it, rip part of it down again to get the cabinets out. So I think if we just remove the cabinets, um, store them, label them obviously, and put them back together. I mean, it, I think it's, yeah. it can be done. It's just, uh, <laughs> hopefully your back will be better by Monday. You hurt your back. Yes. I, yeah. I think you I, need to start doing yoga or something. <laughs> You're not very bendy. Well, I think you need yoga in your life. Lincoln's <laughs> yoga studio. So good job with all this. Thank you. I can't wait to see a bathroom in the next few weeks. It'll be exciting. The guest room project has been on hold, but now that the plaster has been finished, I can finally get on with it. There's not much left to do in this room except paint and furnishings. So we had the plaster man come and cover up this, what used to be a doorway and he does an amazing job. Maybe next time I can get him on camera. But he did this for us, it's still, still a little wet. So we have some wainscoting from downstairs that we can use to fill in this area. And he finished the plaster, I'm gonna fall through a hole, I know it, above this doorway and on the spiral staircase, which is a real challenge to do a, um, a curved wall, but he did a great job. So this will be ready for primer and paint.
had a big storm blow through the other day. We, we tend to get really bad wind since we're sort of in a little bit of a valley here. So the wind just kind of rips through and uh, toppled this apple tree over. So it came up. I mean, you can see this tree was just in, in bad condition anyway. It makes things a little bit easier to, to cut it up. You can see how rotten this, this was. Look at all the little things in there, mushrooms growing and... I can't remember what this mushroom is called. It's like a turkey, turkey something or other, I think. We'll cut this wood up and we'll separate this from the other wood and I'll use it for, uh, you know, cooking. Apple wood is great. It's nice to be able to have this. And you can see the mistletoe on the tree. I don't have anybody to kiss out here. I've been instructed to fill this giant bag full of apples. That's a big bag. Do we have enough apples to fill this bag? That's the million dollar question. I think we do. We're going to be making cider. I've never made cider. I don't know how to make cider, but I'm kind of excited to see the process. Our neighbor who is a farmer lives up the hill from us and uh, I thought I saw somebody in the woods. Just my imagination. So it'll be interesting. I have my bucket. I have my bag. I have this this apple net. I don't know how th this seems like this is going to take forever to get, an, get any apples. I don't know. Maybe I'll just bang the apples down. First though, I see a couple of donkeys over there who might want an apple. You donkeys want to try the apples? This is going to take me longer than I expected. Okay, one bucket down, maybe 60 more to go. Well, my apple picking has been thwarted by rain, so I need to um, go inside. I'm not dressed for apple picking in the rain. We often get asked from viewers if we think the chateau is haunted. The answer is no. Although I must admit, the chateau does look a bit like a haunted house from this vantage point. Maybe the ghosts are confused since we speak English. If there are any, I hope they're friendly. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.